Hey Stace, welcome back to another Whatever Wednesday video. For today's video, we are making another tea light holder from Dreaming Tree. Remember not too long ago, we made the little daisy. Today's one is even cuter. Look how cute this little pumpkin is. Absolutely love it, super easy to make. Gonna turn it on so you guys can see it there. How fun is that? All right, let's go to the computer and we'll get started. Alrighty, at the computer, the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and get our free SVG file. So you want to go to www.3dsvg.com. This will take you to Dreaming Tree. The very top, you want to log in if you have an account or create one. Once you are logged in, you want to take your mouse and hover over the top toolbar where it says free downloads. And then click on where it says free SVG files. And you will see it offers many really cute designs here and they are all for free. There is a Daisy Tea Light we did not too long ago. We're going to go back up top find the jack-o'-lantern you're going to add that to your cart right next to that you will see he also offers a free halloween vellum color pack you can find that also by going to free downloads and then free printables what this is is colors and these colors shown you'd print them out on your home printer using vellum once you add these to your cart and complete your order you will get an email from him with a download link you can always come back and then log in and you can also find your downloads here as well all right when they're downloaded to your computer now you want to go to Cricut Design Space. You would get here by going to cricut.com slash design. You're going to see this screen, the top toolbar where it says account. Click on that to sign in and then enter in your email and your password. Now we're going to import the SVG file we just downloaded. I'm going to go down here and show, share with you guys what it looks like when you download it. It's going to come like that, jack-o'-lantern, tea light, and another folder for your principal vellum colors. If I click on that, you will see there's all these colors you can choose from. You would just click on them and then, like I said, print them on your printer. Go back to the jack-o'-lantern page in this folder. You'll find a picture of the finished project to kind of give you an idea what it will look like when it's finished. And then we also have a little direction sheet. And inside here, you can see he already tells you what colors of cardstock to use and all the sizes here. All these sizes do come in a design space already sized for you. And then we're going, to, we're going to have the SVG folder, and you will see there's five pieces to this design. All right, so we are logged in on Cricut Design Space. I'm going to click on Create New Project. Left-hand side toolbar, click on Upload Images. We're going to click on where it says Image and Upload. Go ahead and click on Browse. And then go to the folder where you saved it. In my case, it was in the SVG folder, under Dreaming Tree, under the Jack-o'-lantern. And then click on SVG. Now you can only download one at a time. So you're going to click on the first one, click on open. You'll see the preview here, bottom right, click on save. You will also see it down here. And you want to continue doing that for all the other images as well. You can name these if you want to. I just let them alone. So we see two down there. We need to go back and get the other ones. Click on save, we'll see it down here. Click on upload, browse again, grab this piece, click on open, and you'll see this one is the vellum. So that should know what piece is gonna be the vellum um, cut out. Click on save, and our last one, browse, grab that piece, and then bottom right, click on save. All right, so now we have all the elements that we need. We're gonna go ahead and click on each one and make sure we see the green check mark in the corner. There's five total. Bottom right, going to click on Insert Images. Now what I do at this point is I kind of separate these a little bit on my mat, like that. And now you can go up top and click on File and Save As, and you can save this. It tells me here I can't save it because it is an SVG file. I'm going to click on OK, and you can save this as the Jack-O-Lantern. I'm going to go ahead and click on Save. Now that file is saved just like this. When I want to download it again or make this project, I would just go to my um, projects page up here and I have everything here. All right, go to the top and go ahead and click on Go. And like I said, everything already comes in, already sized for you. You'll need five mats. We have the black piece here, the green, the yellow piece, the orange for the pumpkin, and your last layer is the vellum. Now on my Cricut, I had to use my deep cut blade to cut the vellum out. I was using Stampin' Up! Vellum. But just going to do a test cut first to make sure you have the right cut settings. 
I go into bottom right, click on go. I'm going to cut these out. We'll go to the table and put the project together. All right, guys, we are back. Everything is cut out. This is what my vellum looks like when I print it on my home printer. So you can save that and use it for another project. All right, so here we have the hat pieces, our vellum, the green layer, yellow, the pumpkin layer, and then this piece here. The first thing I'm going to do is take our pumpkin layer and our vellum. We're going to flip it over. I'm using art glitter glue. You can get this at mamiemadeit.com. I'm going to put just a few dollops of glue around the jack-o'-lantern. You don't need a whole lot. You don't want it seeping out. And then just take these pieces and put them in there. Okay, so we're going to do this one over here as well. The same idea, just a few dollops of glue. And take this piece. Now, if you don't want to print your vellum, you can certainly use any kind of vellum you like. Okay, so we have that. Really cute. Now you want to take your tea light. I'm going to wrap this guy around. You don't want to glue this to the tea light. Just take it around, put a little bit of glue on the one end, and you don't want to have this be super tight because you do want to be able to take it off easily to change the battery or to replace the tea light. Okay, so just kind of go around the tea light like that. Oop, before I did that though, I wanted to add his hat. Oh gosh, okay, undo that, Stace. You want to add the vellum and also the hat to your pump before we add that. I'll just go ahead and grab the hat. I know he looked kind of funny. Sorry about that. Okay, so add the hat. And you can use any kind of paper you like. You can use any color hat you like. You know, the file is yours. You can make it however you want. Sorry about that guys, my camera cut off. Okay, so you first want to flip it over, put your vellum on the back, and then also add your hats. Now we're going to attach it to back to our tea light. So just wrap it around, and again, you're only going to glue one side of it here. Kind of lay it on the table and just bring it around so it's not super tight. This way you're able to take the tea light out if you want to. Okay, so we have that glued. Now if you want to, you can leave this open. Or on mine, I went ahead and attached the two tops. So you're going to put a little bit of glue, a little dot of glue there. You can also use a glue dot. Just kind of pinch these shut for a little bit. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little while so you can see this better. This is a really cute design. One of my favorites. All right, so we have that piece. Now we have this piece. I'm going to put glue on this flap here. We're going to wrap it around. Now this one I do glue. Just going to take a little glue and go across that. I'm going to lay on the table and just kind of bring it around. Make sure it's going straight. Okay, so we have that piece. Give that a second to set up. Now you want to take a pen, a pencil, something round and kind of curl down your pieces here. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm just taking a pen. I'm just kind of rolling these around like that. And the bottom one, I kind of let them go there like that. So do each one of these. Yeah, of course, you guys can spend more time on it. But you want to do each step before you do the next one. Otherwise, this one's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to do with the other layers attached to it. Okay, so do that one. Three more to go. And you can fiddle with them when you're all done. Okay. Then we have two more. I mean, these are super cute. I think these would sell really quickly at a craft fair. I also think they're really, they'd make a really cute idea for a Thanksgiving table for place settings. And then the person can take them home as like a little gift. A little thank you for coming over kind of thing. I mean, this is a really cute design. Okay, so we have all those curled. Then you have these little pieces here. I just kind of take them and just bend them over. I don't really curl those too much. Okay, super cute, right? All right, now we have the green layer. 
before we do before we attach that we want to go ahead and flip these over as well just take something around I'm using a glue stick I'm just gonna get the paper where it wants to go or where you want it to go okay all right put glue on the one flap and bring it around I'm lining up my seam with the black. Doesn't really matter where your seam is. All right, then we're gonna take another squirt of glue on the back side of this green piece. And again, I like laying it flush on my table so I can make sure it's gonna stay, it's gonna stay straight. All right, then we get that around there and then go in there and grab all those little pieces that got stuck. And I wasn't too particular this time on where I placed the leaves. And you can see here, it's in front of the face. On this one, I didn't have that. So you want to just keep in mind where you're placing the leaves when you put them on there. That way they're not going to hide his face. Okay, so there we have that one. Now we have our last layer. Again, the same idea. You want to just kind of form them to where they're going to curl a little bit. Just going to bend them. Okay, and then put glue on the one side here. And I'm going to line this up on the side of the piece. That way my seam will be on the side of the pumpkin. Okay, so get that lined up. And again, we're going to flip it over and put glue all around that one. And then just hold it down where it's even with the other, with the other piece. And straight. Perfect. Okay, and again, I wasn't paying attention, you know, where, where I was placing these. I'd want to alternate these. So again, on mine here, you can see I have a green leaf, a yellow, green. Here I have kind of them together. But you guys get the idea. It's really simple to put together. Okay, just go in there and fiddle with it a little bit. And there you have it. How cute is that? And you just pop the tea light right out because it's not a glue to anything. And with that printable vellum behind there, it really does add that pumpkin effect. How cute is that, right? Super cute. Let me go ahead and turn my light off so you guys can see a little better with this one. Both light up, or both lit up rather. Super, super cute. All right, guys, any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.